Looking back now at Play TV Card Night, it's not surprising that the company that gave you ways to play Solitaire and ways to play things on your TV would give you a way to play Solitaire on your TV. But it's interesting looking back now at the infrared controller and seeing how its design is really reminiscent of the Wii Remote, even though this came out five or six years earlier. Card Knight is one of those plug-in TV games, one of the ones with an audio cable and a composite video cable coming right out of the unit that you're supposed to just plug right into your TV. The power switch design might be a bit too clever. It's supposed to turn off when you put the remote down and turn back on when you pick it up. But that all depends on a spring and lever mechanism which, as the years go on, isn't going to always work as well as it used to. The base unit normally runs on four AA batteries, but it can also take a 6 volt center negative DC power supply. So I figured I'd just buy one of those and unplug it when I'm not using it. Or even better, I can just wait for the unit to turn off after 15 minutes of inactivity, and then unplug it and replug it when I want it to restart. I just take the actual plastic power button out of the unit, and if it's still stuck in off mode, I can use the old screwdriver pokey method. The remote is just a simple infrared one, with a D-pad, three buttons, and two AAA batteries. One of my favorite games on here is called Lockout, which is essentially a Yahtzee-style game, but with cards instead of dice. This is the game that made me realize those lower section Yahtzee scores came from poker, since those are poker hands in the middle there. But it's not just what's in the score boxes that makes this different from Yahtzee. It's also that drawing new cards is different than rolling new dice, and that you're not going to get back the same one you had before. So if you got rid of three diamonds, you're not very likely to get diamonds again to replace them, and that does change the strategy a bit. It'll probably be tricky to find one of these nowadays, not that they'd be expensive, but they'd just be pretty hard to find. You can still get the instruction manual from Mattel's website though. I haven't shown it in this video, but this console also includes poker and blackjack games as well. If you have any experience with solitaire, poker, or other card game, play, TV plugin, things like this, let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching!